We checked into Sakura Stay Dragon, which is an apartment style guest house. It cost about a hundred Canadian dollars a night, but it does have a laundry machine in unit. Good morning and welcome to Arishiyama Bamboo Forest in Kyoto. We got up really early this morning and got to Shijo Omiya Station, which you can take the tram car right to Arishiyama Station. It costs 220 yen, which is only $2. So it's just a short walk from there to the beautiful bamboo forest. We walked back to Arashiyama Station where we caught the Ronden again, this time going to Kitano Hakubaicho Station. From here you can take a bus to the Golden Temple. We actually decided to walk because it wasn't too far. Kinkakuji, also known as the Golden Temple, is a Zen Buddhist temple and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. From its historical legacy as the seat of a powerful shogun to its shimmering gold leaf exterior, the intricate architecture and the mirror-like reflection in the tranquil waters that surround it, Kinkakuji is a famous icon of Kyoto. Given its status, it is also a very popular tourist attraction, so expect crowds all year round. The original Kinkakuji burnt down in the 1950s, but this one was reconstructed in 1955. You can't get very close and no one can actually go inside the temple. This is the closest we could get here. So that is it for Kinkakuji Temple. Uh, it's a bit smaller than I expected, but it is cool. If you're in the area, it is cool. We got some grilled beef. It costs 800 yen for a stick, but it's actually a good amount of beef on there. Mm. 
A little bit fatty, but so delicious. I got hochicha roasted green tea and they were roasting it right in front of us. So I'm really excited about that. I bought some at the grocery store and I wasn't happy with it. So hopefully this will be a lot nicer. It's actually still a little warm when they roasted it. So I'm very excited to try it. And how much was it again? 640 yen. It was 640 yen about, it's a little over uh, $6.40 Canadian. Not too far from Shijo subway station here in Kyoto is a curry restaurant. They have gotten a Michelin bib two years in a row, 2021 and 2022. So we had to try it while we were here. Chris got the red and the black half and half curry and I got their butter chicken curry. Although it's really a take on butter chicken, it's a very interesting flavor, but it was delicious and I highly recommend it. It's not too expensive. My plate was $9 and Chris was $10 Canadian, uh, which is 1900 yen. And uh, it was a lot of food. We went, got the medium sized rice. They ask you if you want small, medium or large sized rice. We got medium and I, I actually didn't finish mine. I gave the rest of mine to Chris. Um, but we just finished them both. So it's a good amount of food for the price. One of the things we wanted to do today while we were out and about was try and find a local Kyoto sake. So we found a store on Teramachi Street that had a huge selection of Kyoto local sakes and I asked for a sweet one so she recommended this one. Which is also perfect because we are just getting into cherry blossom season and it's pink. Come by. There's a flavor in there that I recognize, but I don't know what it is. Here, you tell me if you know what it is. Like, I'm almost wondering if it's plum. That's really smooth. It is, like there's no aftertaste whatsoever. Like normally with sake, there's a little bit of like a after sting. There is nothing there. Yeah, not bad. I don't mind it. Um, it's interesting, it's definitely interesting. All right, so that is gonna do it for our first adventure here in Kyoto. There is more Kyoto to see. The city is huge with so many things to see and do, so stay tuned for that. Please subscribe if you wanna follow along with my Japan adventures. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.